Let's see if we can get a connection because that's always the hard part. Yeah, this guy's here. No, it's. I don't think it's gonna. Yeah, no snapshot. It's just going up and side. Okay, okay. Hopefully we're running, but I got to make a disclaimer. <laughs> no, no small children or people, Gentile people with uh, with uh, with ears that may not want to hear. We are here <laughs> at Digger's Dungeon at the Gopher Hole with the Watermelon Man. Water is that your watermelon signal? That's there? my watermelon. That's watermelon with two L's. <laughs> two L's. Watermelon, two L's. <laughs> So uh, we're here. We uh, just came from the uh, get thir air! Thursday night get air. That video will be up soon. -ish. Gopher was on the trampoline down there. You should have seen. Oh, it, the boobies were flying. Hey, uh, uh, I, I just walked in the door. I had a hard time leaving that place because I was having so much fun talking to everybody that I hadn't seen. Yeah, so months. it's it's still going on down there. They're you guys packed have been here up forty five minutes. Yeah, they're I they're still packed that. up. Uh, they'll be there until the sun goes down. I'm sure some people leave, some people come. More were coming in as we Honestly, left. Yeah. once you left, it pretty much started doing <laughs> one out. Yeah. <laughs> oh really? Yeah. No, Gopher's gone. We got to leave. Yep. They knew what we were doing. The way it What's is. that? Oh, they wanted to get, get home and watch. Get home and watch it. Everybody fathers. Fathers at Gopher. Yeah, they, yeah, some do, some don't. Some some run the other way. Yeah, some, the smart ones run the other way. <laughs> People like him, they follow me. Yeah. So they get, but anyway, uh, we're we're here with Craig. Greg. I know, but Greg. Greg. <laughs> Craig. Craig is the classier okay version okay. of Greg. I thought that sounded funny Gregory. when he called you Craig earlier. I always do. I always call him Craig. Always. It's my thing. Just like on my phone, his name is a. I don't total, know what you call digger. Totally. Totally different name than yeah. than whatever. So I don't. <laughs> nobody knows that, but me and me and right, him and stuff. Right. There's a story behind that. Anyway, he's here. Digger's here. I'm here. No, no yikes in the house. We're sad. <sighs> We're sad, but there just wasn't enough, enough room. room. There's no Keith. No, Where are you at, Keith? I know, and he has several followers. He has several ladies that follow him, and always, if I don't, if he's not in one of my videos, they ask where <laughs> where he's at. Well, there's a new melon in town. Oh <laughs> my God! Hey, Keith, uh, watermelon man's trying to steal your thunder. <laughs> we have no idea of these ladies. Who we got? Uh, Kevin Jan, hey, Kevin. In case you don't know, he's with Urbana Cruisers. Cruiser. Yeah, yeah Urbana Cruisers. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Mr. Triple B, Mullen. Triple B Fabrication. Hey. Steve, Crazy Steve. Hey. Steve Steve How nice you doing, buddy? From you. But uh, we wanted to come out and <laughs> we're going to went downhill. <laughs> hey, hey just remember lots of these. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Thumbs up. Well, they can only give one per watch and stuff like that. So I don't know if this will work or not. Probably not. But I'm going to try and do this. You probably won't be able to. He's hear trying it. to show a video on the video. <laughs> yeah. So. Hey, it was this one. There is the burnouts at the old facility. Smoke them if you got them. Yeah. So this is a, a bunch of the videos that we did last year. I know you can't really hear the sound the sound very well. But let me see if I can scoot up to uh behind you. But the that's a Shavia. That's a Chevelle. It's yeah. the same Chevelle. Yeah. Let's see. Maybe. Nice reflection. Yeah, not bad. <laughs> not too bad. And they're chalking them up. So we've got a nice big concrete pad. Um, they're going to, uh, Coop said they'll figure out a way to, uh, chain down all the front wheel drive cars. Cause their, their heart is all get out since they're so lightweight and stuff. Their heart is all get out to, uh, keep them from just dragging the chalks across the parking lot. Almost like cheating, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Some say I do. There you go. <laughs> okay. And then you won't hear it when he blows the horn at the end. Nobody yeah. ever does. <laughs> we don't pay attention to that. <laughs> oh, is that the problem? It's go or blow. <laughs> yeah, but what's nice about this, I because I've been all over the country for different ones. Uh, some in some places out west, they actually uh, they do it a time thing like we do it. There are other places that go to they blow, mm -hmm. and, and that's all cool and everything. But if you've got a really nice car and a crappy pair of tires, and you tear the fender off your nice car. Yeah, what you know, I mean it's all cool and all, but you know, 
we're not that's not what we're trying to do we're just trying to make as much noise and as much smoke in a allotted period of time being stupid and doing things that yeah. we did when we were younger right but it's in a controlled environment so all everybody that may get upset about whatever i'm the only it, one out it of control. is yeah <laughs> it is shout out to big john melissa badass cypher Banana cruisers yeah buddy But uh, so it's a controlled environment. There's a, a buffer zone around the people and stuff so far back. I mean, it's as safe as we can be without er erecting concrete walls and stuff like they do out at the good guys and stuff. Good guys puts them in a pen or a pit uh, and let it go. The guys in uh, Australia and everything, when they do their rolling burnouts, which that's a totally different animal. Totally. Yeah. Uh, rolling burnouts and stuff. They uh, Here's the watermelon man in action. This is what I do. But the back wheels don't look like that when they got good wheels on. Yeah. Well, these are his uh, smoky tires. These are his show show to smoke tires. Show to smoke. Hi, Cody. Come back, come back, come back. Cody Collins, what's up, Bubba? Keep going, keep going. Right there. Right there. Right there. And so they're chalking him up. Anyway, um, he, so there are Steve different ones. Good at giving people melanoma. Yeah, there are. <laughs> <laughs> there are. Uh, there are competitions where they do rolling burnouts. So it's a uh, burnout for distance. Uh, we don't have that type of area. So what we're doing, so what we do is we, in a controlled setting and stuff, we give, what is it? 30, 25 to 30 seconds. 30 seconds. Uh, when we get to the championship, we get a minute. A full minute? A One full minute. minute. Those, tire last that those tires. Yeah. Dual those... color last a minute. Single 30. Yeah. The, I was going to say Damn. your tires won't last uh those tires probably won't last a minute. No. Before they blow. No. Because <laughs> they're not they're not made to drive on. They're made no, for they're one made purpose. To do burnouts. Yeah. Six hundred dollars a piece made for one purpose. Pretty much, yep. Yeah. Here, here he's got the green ones on. Not bad. Five hundred bucks a minute. My favorite ones are the worth it. my favorite ones are the pink ones because that gave you a pink mustache. Cut mustache and yeah. Noses and, yeah. yeah. Parts of your motor are still pink, aren't they? Still pink. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yep. Yeah. That much dye in it. Sorry, it's so shaky. No. The Parkinson's is kick, kicking breast, in really bad. Breast awareness month. Mm -hmm. like <laughs> so uh, he ran for his thirty seconds, but he said, "Oh, poo poo," and just kept it and running and did what I wanted. Yeah, because <laughs> he's the watermelon man. Yeah, grand champion. Got the belt. Hang on, off it. I'll let you show the belt. You can show the belt now right in front of you. You see down there? Look at that. There's Holy the, cow. There's the championship belt. Tacos and tire burnout champion. Cody Rhodes ain't got nothing on me. Oh, what did he say? That. Yeah, he did. Yeah, right there. Right there. He's lucky Roman Reigns is lucky I didn't meet up with him. <laughs> so that's what we got. So what, that's what we got. Um, new location, bigger. The, the burnout pit is super large. Um, the concrete pad super large. Um, like I said, they'll have it set up. They're going to figure out a way to be able to run that so that they can pull the front wheel drive cars in there, pin them and everything. We'll chain them to a pole. Yeah. That's the best way to do those because they just, there's too much traction. Well, won't, that, won't that knock the girl off? Well, <laughs> stripper pole. Yeah. <laughs> <he's> a, <laughs> I, I know we weren't supposed to tell about your, about your second, yeah. second job. Yeah. Uh, just, just talk about his sideline. Dis disinfecting. Stripper, poles, stripper, stripper poles. Stripper poles, yeah. Um, I'm all well known around Columbus. Any ladies that have any in home, uh, <laughs> I have the credentials to. Yeah, he's, he's certified, yeah. licensed and yeah. certified. I, I saw him. Ladies, I if you're arrested, he clean his own poles, too. Yeah, I get... Here, I'm worried about having to bleep stuff <laughs> out with him. <laughs> it almost grew up. Digger, digger, digger. <clears throat> I, I warned you all in the beginning. I'm sorry. I apologize. <laughs> hey, you know, the warning covers all three yeah. of us. I didn't expect you. Oh, just, <laughs> but he, he was waiting for me. I, I was. It takes something else. I need one of those things out in me. on a uh, on a uh, cable vision and stuff Beep. on cable TV on live cable TV. Yeah, they got a, a second, seven button. second right. Button. They got a button they can push and it cuts whatever for so many seconds and stuff because it it yeah, is live. It is live, but it's set on a seven second lag. But it's like yeah. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. That's or television, television's yeah. had a seven second delay for some <laughs> Um, we did go out 
for the uh, Thursday night. That'll be up. It was really good um, and stuff. Tomorrow night, I'll probably go to the Vineyard Church. Do you know if you'll get to go or not? The Vineyard? Maybe. Not. Maybe. Probably. You got to you gotta make a run tomorrow, right? Not at that time. Okay, so you can get back. So I'm going to try and do the Vineyard Church, depending on weather and stuff like that. Uh, hopefully, Dave, Dave, I know Dave's had a little bit of health issues. Hopefully, everything's better and good with all that. Then Saturday, we're going to go Marysville. Uh, Burger King. Yeah, cruising uh, cruising with the with King. The king up in Burger, uh, Marysville. That's, yeah, that's, what is that? A cobblestone Way? Cobblestone Way, uh, yeah. Off of 31 or 33, 33. or what? Off of 33. Off of 33. Uh, good show. Draws a lot of different cars. Uh, been up there a few times. Uh, nice little place. Yeah, there. it is. Uh, really got nice. the Got the whole Burger King parking lot and the Quickie Mart and gas station oh, beside next it. Next to it. Yeah, and there are stuff across the street. And they I've seen them all the way down that road because mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a side road off from the main road. Um, I've seen them parked out there yep. and everything. So we'll try and get out there. Good show. Um, hopefully some of my family will show up. I'll get to see them. If not, uh, usually five to nine dark is when they run that up. Yeah. It's in the yeah. Evening, I so. like to try and get back uh, before dark because right. the deer on the road are yeah. out on route four. Cause we, I take route four up. Do you take route four route and come four down to Tremont? Yep. 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 So. yep. 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 The slow road. Yeah. And then uh, Sunday there's something, but I, I was sent information. I don't have it in my head. I don't have my calendar. I yeah, I apologize. But there was something going on Sunday. I just can't remember what it was. Um, if I remember it, I'll uh, hit it up on Facebook. Um, I have not been able to keep up on a lot of the social media stuff because I don't have internet and my phone won't run much of anything and stuff. So I apologize for that. We're trying to, we're working on getting that done, but we got to get a refrigerator before I go to, we got the furnace. And we're Since gonna, you need food, you do need a refrigerator. refrigerator. Yeah, and well, we're I can we're, understand we're going from meal important. to meal to meal to meal, and because we can't store much, and we're usually we buy in bulk, fix in bulk, and then we've got four or five times we can eat that. It may not be one right after another, but whatever. So e economically, that's really the way to go. Yeah. I mean, you make a pot of chili to feed eight people, and then you freeze that. Well, we can't. Because no. we don't have a refrigerator <laughs> to put it in and stuff, so we've been having to do small meals and take care of mom. Down, I'm trying to still trying to get dad to eat relatively good stuff. Mom always fix good stuff, but he needs mm -hmm. to eat certain other vegetable types and mineral types and stuff like that for his uh, for the dementia and everything to try and get his brain functioning again. Um, and then Monday, I think next month will be the first uh, Monday night cruise in. What, no, Work them polls, baby. No, I, I don't see. I remember, it's voting year. Yeah, I didn't yeah. see. I didn't. Yeah, I didn't get to see Sarah Joe or T Chad out there. No, um, they got that new Mustang. I wanted you to see their new Mustang. You didn't get to see it yet. Hmm. Um, so yeah, they got their new Mustang and stuff. There was a nice. And I've uh, only seen his white truck on videos. I haven't seen. Oh, that really? One. In person? Oh, yes. Yeah, so it sounded really good. There, the or either that or did see it, but he hadn't done anything to it yet. It right, yeah, right. He's got it nice. He's got a lot of yeah. nice little stuff added to it and stuff, customizing it up, and and it sounded really when that when that uh, uh, is it a that's not a Vortec. What is it? Is F one fifty? Yeah, the he has the EcoBoost I know. twin turbo. The EcoBoost, yeah, the twin turbo EcoBoost. It sounded pretty good. Yeah. Not I mean, you bad. could tell it was not a V8, but it sounded pretty it good sounded and stuff. Good. It, it started sounding pretty throaty as he got it up. I'm amazed that he burned those tires off like that with, uh, with being I, as new as the truck is. I bet his was bald just like mine. Uh, was it? No. Yeah. Those were your street tires. Those were your... Gone. Is it gone? Well, what are you running on now? I went and bought a new one. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Fool with his money. I'm you. <laughs> I know those those tires with that car won't they won't just won't last very long. There's a lot of R you for that motor and setup and stuff. That's a lot of RPM on that tire. I yeah. mean, it's that's low gear. I do not shift. I hold. Oh my gosh! No wonder it sounds like that. And the speedometer goes clear back to end. Yeah, <laughs> I've I've had inverse? those I've, huh? in first. Yes, sir. In first, yeah, he just yeah. lets it roll. Uh, yeah, I let it roll. Yeah, you don't have tack, do you? No, it, 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 <laughs> it'll stop right at about seven five. I knew like all the old guys. I use my well, that that motor after seven five being stock like it is after seven five, it ain't going to be much motor. I, I'm just saying they because the 307, 305 hey, I know. in stock configuration they were won't junk. do that. I now, got a good one though. Yeah, now 350s. Well, we got one of them sitting on the rack ready to. Oh, put in that. Oh, there we go. So. So. 
No thumbs up, four watchers. I appreciate hey, the watching. Give me some thumbs up. Come on. Hey, is your buddy with the green truck? Is he getting it out this year? Yeah, he'll be there. Right. Yeah, uh, he's got put got an automatic rims. in it. Got like rid of the dude. five speed. Uh, yeah. Uh, of yeah. course, I sponsoring with the tires, so you know. Yeah. Oh, so you're well, paying What size are the tires? Because I've got. Uh, we're putting running Mickey Thompson fifties, uh, the old uh, Mickey Thompson. What 50s, size rim? Uh, fifteen inch. Oh, I don't. I don't have any fifteen inch. Tr I've got sixteen inch, and maybe seventeen inch truck tires. You deal with old those cool well, stuff. We, we, well, yeah, no, I know, but no, I wanted 15. to give him the tires. I know, I wanted to give him the tires. If he had rims, if he gets rims, I give him the tires. And he can run those to burn them out because that's all these tires are good for. The tires are probably good and hard. Thirty-five years old. <laughs> Real those hard. Are, those are good ones. I've they, done them before. They ought to just turn into just, just smoke. Yeah, all smoke. You ought to find some of them fifty-seven Chevy stock uh, bias plies. Oh, the old bias plies. The old bias. <laughs> the pie cutters. <laughs> Put the pie cutters on, there and... on the back. Oh no! Yeah, because <laughs> yeah. when I worked at when I was at Hopkins, like I said, I told you guys I changed. I go through Maybe. six to nine different sets of tires every weekend, mm. uh, rear tires, and yeah, so I always had to pay full price for mine. So well, I'd burn off front, when... I'd burn off the backs and rotate and the bottom rotate ones to the front, and rotate <laughs> and burn off the back ones again. When the cars would come in, when used cars would come in, one of the first things they would do would be to take the tires off, no matter what condition they were in, take the tires off, put new ones in of their brand, their stock, and then have a guy come in and grind in white walls. So I had every weekend I would have, because we we'd go, we'd get in or sell off 14, 15 cars a week. And I had, you got four tires all the way around, same size. I just put them on you the back. Them. Yeah, I had 10 inch rims on the back of that Chevelle, <laughs> and I'd blow them four inch tires out onto them, and it just went like that. Yeah. So you had a tire that looked like a giant balloon that <laughs> came to a peak and whatever, and it would smoke them straight up. One wheel would start, <clears throat> then the other wheel would go, and then they'd both go. I had a friend of mine years ago with a Firebird. That he put M50s on the back. I, I got a set of M50s, but he mine. put them on wheels that were way too small. Oh, and yeah. the sides yeah. rolled up over the, the center of the tire was yeah. touching the ground, but the edges never touched yeah. the ground, and the <laughs> sidewalls went like that. <laughs> I've cut the center out of tire, I've cut the beads out of tires running on small rims with big tires. I have blown one tire off where it was a wide tire with a, a wide rim with a narrow tire. Uh, but usually I'd put you like know, 50, 55 pound of air in it and stuff yeah. like that with that tire like that. And um, I had donuts and stuff there at the shop at, at Hopkins. So we had donuts that you put the tire on and the tire and the rims this tall and the tires only this tall. Oh, sorry. Yeah. The tires only this tall and the rims, <laughs> you know, 15 inch rim. And we put donuts on them and you'd have to use two or three donuts to stack them up to blow them. And as you were pumping it up, those donuts would come to the top and go, boom. <laughs> they just pop off. How you know, that? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I blow them out, man. I put them on that car, and it it from the side it looked cool because you just saw this massive sidewall. But from the back, you look at the front tires; they're <laughs> we're, we're eight inches wide in the front. You look at the back tires, and they're four they're... inches wide in the back. One a fifteen inch rim. <laughs> but they had smoke. That was just showing off and stuff. Like well, that. yeah, well, that's all it is. Yeah, that's all we. You know how to do that, don't you? Uh, Look, I, got, <laughs> I went down to two right. watchers, but I got a thumb. Oh, that's a woo, woo. We go. <laughs> but uh, so those are the places that are coming up. We're going to be there. We'll be there, and it's uh, it'll be next Friday, the twenty sixth. Twenty sixth from yeah. five to about nine. Get uh, there early. Get there early. Yeah. Uh, good food. They'll good have food. possible have music. They're having somebody come in. Ty. Uh, Ty Cooper. Don't know if he's in relation to uh, DJ Coop. Tony, yeah. but uh, evidently he plays the guitar. They have a stage in there. Yeah. Uh, They're going to come in. Big place. If you've ever been there before, when it was Ryan's and before that it was Bay Breeze. Uh, it's off of First Street, right? Right off First Street across from Applebee's down in there with the old Target and the old oh, Tumbleweed and. Yeah. Uh, couple motels and yeah come early get you some grub on yeah. get full get you something to drink step on out in the parking lot bring a chair watch watch foods, the foods nice good cars and watch us yeah be stupid in our nice cars but this is this has moved away just like we had at the, the other place and stuff it's moved away from all the people that'll be showing their cars and the cruising and stuff it's moved to the back so you just come on back and yeah. stuff there there will be a red circle with an x in it 
You can stand any place you want except for that. That's mine. <laughs> That's where old man, old fat man's going to be videoing from. So, and he's a watermelon man's personal photographer. There you so go. He, yeah, he he's, has to yeah. be up front. Yeah, I can't show you the ones that we get from Columbus. I can't show you. Those. Well, you know. Well, I could show you those. That's entertainment. Yeah, good entertainment. Whatever. So we're going to. Uh, you're going to try and uh, yikes. Yeah, we're going to, I've already talked to him. We're going to take Keith over to, uh, and this is a car show. We just don't go to the strip club. I mean, you know, it's legit. They do have clothes on. Um, not very mm -hmm. many, but, you know, uh, dental floss is. That's considered is, is that considered a catchy a, thing? Um, a catchy thing? But they're all nice girls. And I mean, we have all types of people. There's girls that come to the shows and, you know, it's, we have a good time. Yeah. And Keith's going to have a good time. When is that? When is the. Usually it's uh, July. It was July 29th last year. Um, but depending on whatever. It might be the 27th well, we'll keep, this we'll, year. But we'll, yeah, we'll, we'll. We'll keep them up to date yeah, on yeah, that yeah. and stuff but, like that. Uh, so. It's the. Uh, uh, can't think of the name of the club now. Uh, yeah, probably shouldn't say it. No, I probably shouldn't say it. We'll say it later. Yeah, it's in Columbus. Yeah, there's only 500, 500 of them gentlemen's clubs in Columbus. Yeah. Nothing left in Dayton anymore. Yeah, there's only two out where I live now. There but used they, to they be put a out a flyer. So have you there's ever been one, out that one out there though? Yeah, like baby dolls. Yeah, which I, one? Yeah. I've been there. That's Pints bad. That one's closed. Oh, okay. That's but it's pinup, pinup. Pints, Pints and Pinups pin is there now. They used yes. to have a show yes. there. They don't the, show, the show and tell's closed. Right. And, and stuff. but Which I've never been there. Yeah, I was going to ask you. Well, you been... asked here a long time ago yeah, about yeah, yeah. and wondered why you never seen me there. Well, yeah, because. Probably too young. Yeah. Yeah, well. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just because I'm older than him. I, I get this. I get this grief from all these guys that think I'm their same age. No, not even close. No, not I'm 60, so I know he's got That's me by a decade. So pretty much, <laughs> pretty, right, pretty much right at that. <laughs> I'm only three yeah. years behind. That's ten years. You yeah, know, that, you were ten. Oh, were trust born. me, I'll tell you what ten years is. <laughs> you just got to see the '55 through '57 Chevys. I didn't. So yeah, roll off the assembly line and right. stuff. So yeah, yeah. I had to watch the Mustang II roll off up in. Well, that wasn't bad. I yeah, liked the Mustang too. I know a lot of people didn't, but I, I did. I did like them. I like those the the, the what the King I Cobra, like the that's King yeah. Cobras. Yeah, the King Cobra yeah. they had and, and, they had and the all little that. Three hundred two in there. Yeah, they, uh, the uh, the little venom, the rodders. little venom hot rods they had. Yeah, good that little, was pretty good. I like uh, those. Hot rod back in the day. So, what's that? Uh, KJ and Hyatt, July twenty seventh. Thank you, Kevin. Uh, about I tried to link the flyer. Oh, above it. Oh, now it won't let me. Yeah, I'm not. I, I'm yeah. I haven't got this. I'm working on a computer that's so old it barely runs its software. <laughs> we had a little trouble earlier. I was trying to get it to do things. It just it said it wasn't having it. It won't cooperate. Yeah. So this one on Windows Seven. Uh, eight? this was originally a Pentium series, a straight Pentium, not even a dual core. This is yeah. A there's straight, people out there who never even heard of a Pentium. Yeah. Before. This is a straight. This is a straight uh, Pentium. It, it's not a Celeron, but it is a, a straight Pentium. Uh, but it's a single core. It it came out. Just as Windows 7 was coming about, mm -hmm. and I, I've got it pumped up to 8.1. It will not run 10. Well, I don't like 10 uh, or 11 or anything. It just won't run it stuff. But um, I think it has, only has four gigs of RAM, and it, or it needs, yeah, a lot more to run that. My so. phone's got more power. Oh, yeah. My my watch just <laughs> got more my power. Watch, my watch has got <laughs> more processing power than and that. And that watch was made in 1987. Uh, it's not that old. <laughs> Came with a Hot Wheel. <laughs> came with a Hot Wheel. Oh, have you know that came with a Hello Kitty? Okay, all right. I do either that or Rainbow Bright. Yeah, I said uh, or bro, uh, Brony, uh, little uh, My Little Pony thing. Yeah, um, yeah. We came in uh, over to the Diggers Dungeon over here. Came in first thing. He grabs the cats, and uh, uh, Watermelon Man was petting the cats and stuff like that. We couldn't find Crystal. She was hiding out, yeah, sleeping well, someplace. Not, whenever a new yeah. person comes over, Crystal's. Yeah. I think she was asleep on the she's couch, on the but couch. Couldn't, could, was oh, she yeah. on the couch? Just looked yeah. like a blanket piled up in the corner. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she's dark. Black. Yeah, she's yeah, real she's dark. dark. Oh, she's yeah. so little. She wasn't. Yeah, yeah she's she not wasn't amazed but, uh, by me. Yeah, Hootie, Hootie, took, Hootie took right off him. I went to put, pet Hootie again when he got like this. And I said, well. But back when Hootie first got here, he loved me. He did the same thing to Keith, though. Yeah, but now he's all over Keith. 
Now, and Swirly is, you can't, Swirly doesn't care who you are. Who you, are. You, you got to give him some love. And heaven forbid you go into the bathroom. Because he, he has he's got to be in there. He's, he's got, got to be right there. I said, I'm busy. Both my hands are occupied. Get away from me. He <laughs> wants you care. to pet him. Uh, like, hey. If you're standing, he gets up on the, the yeah. little stand has, thing right behind. And he has if a, you're sitting down, he gets up all right. on the table. Even if you lock him out, he has a way of getting in now. Yes. He's sneaky. He discovered that, huh? Yeah, well, you, you told me about that, and I wondered how he was getting in there when the door was shut, how he was getting in the bathroom. He, he has to go through the laundry room. I've, I've got half the drywall cut out in the laundry room. Did that 27 years To ago. make everything fit. Make everything fit. Well, he goes into the wall and goes up the wall, and then he comes out in the bathroom above the mirror because I the stupid mirror was mounted up so high for normal people. So I lowered it like five, six inches. Vert he's, he's vertically challenged. Yeah. So that now there's, Digger's there's vertically a hole challenged. in the wall this tall and that he, long. And you'll be there at the toilet and he will come <laughs> right, right on out. It's either that or you're sitting there and all of a sudden the, the cabinet door swings open. You're like, what in the heck? Oh, because he's, he's up there in the cabinet? He's crawling through and he kicks <laughs> the, the, the mirror open. He put the water bottle on there. Steve? Uh, yep. Yeah. Triple B. In the blue barn. Out in Pitchin, Ohio. Yep. The big town of Pitchin, population nine. nine. Pichu. Eight. <laughs> <laughs> he always goes, Pichu. Oh, don't, don't blink. Yeah, don't blink. Mm -hmm. Hoping he brings me some watermelons this year. He did last year. Yeah, out there. And he smashed them. And we ate them anyway. Yeah, well, yeah. The yeah. ones we, the, the yeah, the ones that smashed the Tremont, we ate them. You got to. Everybody yeah. goes, oh, well, you're eating that. I go, there's nothing there. I was a watermelon. I grew up on a farm. <laughs> we, you'd be surprised what we put in our mouth. Who hasn't eaten dirt? Wipe the dirt off. It's probably why I've lasted so long through oh, all the yeah, cancer, it through it all is. the cancer and all the surgery you got and that all immune whatever. System built up. I don't know about that, but it's, it's in it's in herbs. It's in the ground. Dude, we go out there. We come in. We come in after after milking and stuff. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, it is 420 is coming up. Though. 420. I know. I know. <laughs> Big parties in Michigan this weekend. Just Ooh. saying. Why? Somebody lose? No. No, it's Michigan. It's Michigan. There's, <laughs> there's, there's bands. There's yeah. there's uh, lots of free merchandise. Get whatever you want in Michigan. Free, free merchandise. Lots of free merch. Bands. And, yeah, I heard, oh, yeah. Heard about it from a guy from Detroit. Yeah. Really? I need a van. He's wanting me to come on up there. I need a van. They haven't met me in Detroit yet. You haven't been to Detroit? No. What? Well, I used to know him. Remember, the, remember the, the riots in 72? Yeah. I'm old. <laughs> I was eight. Oh, I was there. <laughs> <laughs> I was like six. Yeah. So. Oh, holler out to Tater up in Urbana. That's okay. Mike Sell, too. Anybody doesn't know. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Go ahead and Tater. Tater. What's, uh, when's she going to get the uh, Nova out? Uh, the Nova should be uh, done, I'd say here, maybe by the 1st of May. And it's getting full it paint, It is right? full paint. Uh, we bought new glass, bumpers, uh, chrome. This wow, car is going to be. I didn't think it needed all that. But we, she did it anyway. Well, no, I mean, that's fine. But I, I really like the way it was. Uh, it's going to be, like she likes it, it's going to be a badass. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 71 Nova Super Sport, stroker cool. motor, four cool. speed. Yep. Zoom. Wow. Cranberry red. With a little pearl. What was it before? Mm. What color was it? Cranberry before? original. Was it the 71 cranberry red? was cranberry red. Yep. So it's, it's, and I've seen it. It's it supposed to have an all stock look or a, uh, a street look. Um, well, she's got Craigers. She's got Craigers on it. I mean, it's like second day, what they would call, you know, you bought your Nova, come home, slap a set of Craigers on it. Yeah. You maybe much. didn't put a stroker motor in it, but yeah. You might maybe change your carburetor, put a set of headers. Will she something. have it out at Ed's? Um, Possibly. Yeah, that's one coming up. What's the date on uh, We've got June 9th. Uh, that's the Ed Haddon uh, Memorial. Memorial Fund for his son died here a couple years ago. Uh, and we're having a little benefit for uh, his daughter. We've got to get a little trust fund started for her. Um, it's out at Rittenhouse uh, Resort. Resort, which used to be Meadow Lake up in Champaign County. If any of you are familiar with Shady Bowl. Uh, the racetrack, it's probably what? two or three miles up from the that. Down the hill. Up the um, hill, down the hill. <laughs> uh, it's going to be a good time. There's fishing up there. I was going to say, swimming. you're allowed, they're, they're fishing, swimming. Swimming. Uh, uh, if you want to camp. Band music uh, in there. They're 
we have a DJ. A DJ. Okay. Uh, cartoons who took over for Hot Dog Chuck. Yep. Um, he'll be playing at it. Um, homemade trophies. Uh, it's going to cool. be a good time. Okay. It's going to be yeah. a good time. I got it and on my list. Cause. I got it on my list, but let's keep getting longer. Well, now. there's several every day, and I'm going to do yeah. what I can, depending on depending on mom and dad, how dad's doing. We need to switch it. And the weekends need to be Monday through Friday, and then work days need to be Saturday and Sunday. Well, there's always been the talk about going to a four day work week, well, and that's that's actually well, back. They just back add they just add two hours instead right. of an eight hour shift right. to be a ten hour shift, 10, so it's and then still you get 40, then you 40, get 40. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday off, right. which I think yeah. is great. That would, I'm looking for that. Which there are there are retired, so. there are businesses. I've worked at businesses where you work four days, then you're off four days, then you work eight days, then you're off eight days. So you really never had a weekend. It was always a rolling type of schedule, but they had. Uh, they had three shifts and those three shifts covered each other. Mm -hmm. And each one of those shifts worked anywhere from 12 to 14 hours. So it was wild. And because I remember, I told you, I know what it's like to work yeah. the hours that you work, sleep, sleep, yeah. wake, wake, sleep, yeah. sleep, wake, wake. I and, do split shift sleeping every yeah, so day. He actually puts in two I days sleep. for I every sleep. one. Yeah, day. I sleep four. Yeah. I get to work. I sleep four. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, and I'm that's what I used to do for 19 years or whatever and yeah, stuff. Doing, doing, was yeah. doing graphic <laughs> arts and photography and all that right, stuff. Right. And, yeah, it's <laughs> it's some crazy places where I work, but it was really neat. I mean, that's what got when I worked at Cars and Parts and uh, Amos Press and uh, uh, outside of Lima. Where's the tank plant at? Lima, this side of Lima and Wapaw and all that up there. Um, yeah, it it was really cool. I got to see all the cars mm -hmm. before anybody. I got to work anybody on all did. the magazine, got all the pictures, whatever and stuff. Yeah, it was really neat and stuff. Modeling ad agencies and stuff, Fine Line Graphics and a couple of the other places where I worked because um, they did the headshots. Right. But then they did the bikini slash lingerie slash nude slash because you had to have your portfolio had to be fulfilled when you took well, it in and yes. stuff like that. So I've almost got mine full. What portfolio? Yeah, I got, I got, I got, <laughs> these girls are probably 50, 60, 70 years old now, but yeah, back when I had these, I don't care. neither am I. Cause I just look at the, <laughs> <laughs> Oh, wait a minute. Are we live? <laughs> <laughs> this is my just on here. <laughs> I know we, it's usually Keith that takes us down the path yeah. and wherever and stuff like that. So I think he, he may have got home because I, I, I would have actually would have had him come over if I'd have known we were going to start. We thin his butt. I know if we were going to start this late. Normally we start at four thirty-five o'clock, and he's still at work, and he's in Columbus. So he's always on the road someplace. Were, you, were right. your butt dragging, or were you waiting on me? I was waiting on you. Yeah. No. I stayed down at Get Air just. No, uh, that's okay. I'm not. I'm not. You guys did. It's never. You never heard me complain about. I never. <laughs> it's not a complaint. It's just. That's what I would have done. But if I'd have known we were going to be later, I'd have had him come over and whatever. He so. calls me. I said, hello. He goes, where are you at? I said, in the driveway. <laughs> yeah, but that's the second or third time I called him. Yeah, that was the third time. I would, he yeah. didn't answer the other two. <laughs> yeah, he didn't I left phone in the Well, we, we had a discussion of figuring what you were doing. Yeah. And we left it. <laughs> <laughs> we, uh, left it at that. How, you do, how you doing, Juicy? <laughs> Look at that. Why look at the trails. Well, you used to have well, to pay. Look at that. You used to have to pay 20 bucks to see those type of trails. <laughs> I'm just saying. That's called motion blur. Is it? Very good. Camera reference. I remember some of those stuff. Camera reference. Reference. Yeah. I was referencing 420, but. No. Oh, okay. That's fine, too. Yeah. Well, you know, glaucoma. Glaucoma. <laughs> that glaucoma is kicking in. Yeah. Me, too. Look, we got one watching, one thumbs up. We're losing them. We are oh, losing them. For a second there, I thought you were gonna say we're losers. Come on. Well, that, <laughs> that too. That too. That too. <laughs> well, that I didn't. That never was a question. Um, that <laughs> I've never had. I have never had that problem of knowing who and or what I am. Oh, yeah. ever, ever. We know. We I, I know. We accept it. And you know what? If you didn't, 
Well, I am perfectly happy with this. That's why I tell I can't people all the time. Sarah Sarah. Doden, I mean, chime in. I didn't. We I didn't guess. get to see her at Get Air. I'm, I'm sure they uh, Thursday night they may have had something going on because she works. They've got her working some crazy stuff right now, and she might be getting a, another one. I don't know. We'll see. She works all the time. I know. The last Chad's time. always on the road during the day. Yeah, that wears you out. Just day and tr- driving a truck. Yeah. yeah, just oh my gosh. Load here, unload, upload, and uh, that's what Jeff Haas and stuff. When he gets out, he gets out. He, Jeez. I'm done. Yeah, uh, truck, no truck. Get Jeez. in the car. I, I will say that '57 Chevy. Did you see the air system? It he looks just got wicked it? lowered. Yeah. Yeah. Did you yeah. see oh, the whole new yeah. air system and everything he's got on that's that nice. firewall? This year he took the the '57 Chevy and airbagged it. Yeah. All. Yeah. Fire, and it was done. Length stuff. It was done right. 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 Absolutely right. Man, so, that car looks better every year. It does. It does. He's phenomenal. Phenomenal. The firewall is polished. Mm-hmm. The firewall, the inner fenders, and all that stuff, oh, right. and everything. Well, you yeah. know, it's, it's, it's polished, one thing all rubbed down. It's one thing to go out and buy a car like that that's already done. And that one was done yeah. nice. It was done very nice. He has done a tremendous amount of modification. He to took it. a nice car and made it. And made it into awesome. his own. Put his swing on it. Yeah, but man, he did it nice. Chug that thing. There, no, I shake. Boy. I shake so bad. I, I can't hold it to my face. I shake, start to shake so bad. So I have to use two hands. You ought to see me, get a fork full of food, and yeah, try and try get it, get and it try and get it in there. So, but Dad's the same way. Dad, yeah. Dad's Dad's like this it's all over. Oh, it's so he kind of just scrapes it in. You know, we got to let one of those little uh, uh, hospital swivel tray uh, side tables. Yeah. And you just put it, put it over there. <laughs> This is shovel, shovel it in. Yeah. Chew, cold. swallow, chew, Keep swallow. Furnace belt. Swallow, chew. Oh no, it's backwards. <laughs> <laughs> but no. So. Uh, what else is coming up? What do you got going on? Oh, you're working. Uh, you haven't you haven't put them up, but you've got some taken yes. on what you're doing to your van. That you're doing a van life, right? Van life. Building van life bus with. The bed and uh, diesel heater yeah, and the whole thing. So if, solar he, and all does, that kind if of stuff. he decides to say he can go wherever he wants, park it, stop, do whatever he wants to do, all that stuff and everything. So have have cats will travel. Yeah, I will say that a couple people today looked at it and they said, "Well, where's the bed at?" Did you show? And I them? showed them and they yeah. were like, "Wow, he's got <laughs> he's he's got his work." where he can do his laptop and stuff. So his work desk and yeah. cabinet over here turns into a uh, single. Yeah. Pretty much as close to a signal no, mattress. I, yeah. 36 inches by six foot. Yeah. But you're only 12. Take it up for me. You're only 12 yeah, inches little, wide. One of the little car beds. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like we had with this kid. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you know what the the car bed was? Uh, it might look like a us, uh, When we were younger traveling back and forth was yeah. the rear, was the was rear it? window deck. In the cars, yeah. You, oh, I used to if, up in there. if they would four times <laughs> over, because I, I'm always, I've always been pretty much this size. I fit up in there all the time. Well, you guys but, had wagons. Yeah. Well, we had station wagon, but the Buicks had that well, it's huge a back window. You know how? You, did you see the? Did you ever see that the pickup trucks that Buicks made? Yeah. Yeah. You just take the deck lid off a of Buick. You got a truck, and you got a truck. That's a full three quarter ton truck, a half with a half bed on it and stuff. Yeah, mm-hmm. my grandfather hauled motor blocks to and from junkyard part, everything in those cars. Um, all the big winters and stuff we had 58, 58, the big flood and winter and stuff, all the 72, all that. He would had a hoist would put the engine block in the trunk, close the trunk. That Buick would set like set like that. <laughs> and he would go all the way from Marysville to take us home into Dayton. Nobody, else, everybody, else, oh, hell yeah. Everybody else blown off the road, road. snow trucks, the snow plows trying to get through. Buick like, blam, get two speed, <laughs> right. two speed. So he just put it in gear because, you know, it was reverse. You put it in gear and blam, to the floor, just hauling down four and you know they don't shovel, they don't plow no, before. And they, like, yeah, and it's up and down and back and forth, flying down that thing. We get home. Buick. Maybe that's why I'm twisted on Buicks anyway. I love them cars. Oh, he used to cars. have all those old cars and stuff. But he worked at uh he worked on what he used to call tin cans 
that's what he used to call at Indianapolis back when they were the little tin cans yeah. and stew with the straight fours in them and stuff. That's what he worked on back then and stuff. Mm. He had lots of stories. That that and his stories of Germany. The stories of, of working on the cars was cool, but the stories of Germany make you lose your mind. Lose your mind. <laughs> Make you lose your mind. So we wouldn't believe any of that. Stuff, oh no, you know? no. Well, it, it's rough. It's it, 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 and you wonder why back then, as they got into Vietnam and, and whatever they understood about the PTSD and all that stuff and everything. But back then, it was suck it up, you know, right, whatever. Yeah. And there was no help whatsoever. Not that there was that much help for a lot of the post traumatic stress disorders through Vietnam, but it has gotten more accessible for people and stuff back then the shit that he told me and stuff i'm wondering why he even was able to exist in mm -hmm. society yeah and it wasn't he wasn't it wasn't something just to him it was all of them that came back and made it back because i mean you're in a trench yeah and they're just you're up to here and with freaking, floating floating human soup because yeah. all the bodies were just floating mm -hmm. in the rain and yeah. the blood and the one yeah Sorry, got off track. Just went. I went down that road. Look, I was waiting for one. We were going to lose that one. I was waiting. We had to keep going. Just a little bit. A let, me, let, let me let me get through this rant and stuff. A little flashback of my childhood and stuff. So no, but I had all his uh, had his gear from WW1 and and all that stuff. The helmet with the bullet hole in it, and the whole bit. And it was his helmet. With the, I didn't get it. Uh, other relatives got it and stuff, but yeah. those are our true heroes. Oh, it, know, it was all of them. I mean, yeah. all military, but you know, it's just, it's just, just firsthand getting the firsthand thing from him like that was, I'm sure it set me in life to understand what I understand about military and, right. and how, what, how I feel about them and stuff like that. But yeah. So yeah, anyway. the kids maybe nowadays won't know that. Yeah. Well, you just know? like the best thing in his opinion, the best thing that, every young person could do is to spend at least two years in the military. It doesn't have to be wartime, no. but two years in the military to go in, to understand what it's to be a group and, and whatever. So, and I agree. I agree. That's the time they're going to do the most growing up. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I think, I think, it'll, I think that's what we've gotten away from. So, somewhat. Nowadays. Somewhat. I mean, it's it, uh, military service is still military service. And I applaud anybody that does it. And you're uh, a strong person. Yeah. You know, I, I wasn't I, in the military, but. You know, I think I think it helps you know who you, who are, you are and what you're capable of doing. So e either way, military or prison, unfortunately, will get you to know who you are and what you you know, what I mean, and those that learn from both of those will go on and be productive and whatever. Right. And those that don't learn from that end up right back into yeah problems and stuff. Yeah. So. But again, I'm I'm digressing and wandering clear off any car subject whatsoever. Because <laughs> there's only one person. Yeah, one person, one thumbs up. Thank you very much. But we're just rambling on. But I think we covered you know, tomorrow. Will be 250 people saying it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there'll be a bunch of people stuff like they're not used to me on, <coughs> especially on this night this late right. doing whatever they're and off. They're off doing other stuff. This here. Yeah, well, I didn't. I was going to try and let them know you were coming, but I didn't because things just got. Well, so I'd like to surprise. Oh, guest man. appearance. Guest appearance. <laughs> just like on the Johnny Carson show. Oh, yeah, when they just a walk on. Here's Greg. And, <laughs> and his buddy Craig. <laughs> <laughs> Craig, Greg, just, whatever. Just a bunch of nuts down here in H and H. No, I call him mm -hmm. that every show. Every time I go, I I well, ask because I'll ask those guys, where's Craig? And they go, Oh, he's they know who I'm talking about. Yeah, sure. but those yeah. people will start calling him Craig. There's a lot no, of they won't. Like, well, I heard yeah, Don they, calling yeah, him Craig. Will. No, they won't. No, well, I'll tell them the other name I call they, you and see how that goes. They, they just know watermelon. Where they the know. melon man at? They know that. I, hot dog. Hot dog goes on the video. He went, he went, he he says, I heard you got in trouble. For, you was working at J.C. Penny for the Brazil inspector. I said, well, he was a sizing. Yeah. Because he, right. he could guess sizes. He knew sizes by just... You know, you have hand models. He was in the he was in the B cup department, though. No, I well, I I saw some of those pictures. Yeah, there was a lot of B cups. Yeah, but that's okay. Yeah, I don't go for the hammocks. Oh, oh really? I do. Yeah. Oh, Digger, well, dig, Digger goes. Give me a hammock, baby. Digger, Only if it's cold. Digger, wait a minute. Digger wants like this. <laughs> Bigger the <than> better. <laughs> Boy, we are <laughs> we are way <laughs> way off. Well, hey, Keith, you warned them. 
I know I did. Want to. <laughs> I wish I had my little uh, gopher laughing and stuff. You would have been worn. <laughs> <laughs> Well, Still I'm hunting sure. for a van, so I'm sure everybody out there already knows anyway. Yeah, let me know. Let me know if you have any uh, Astro vans or what was the the C tens? The C tens was the little short full size van, but they were shorter. Remember those? From what year? You uh, Chevy van. Full, so it's a full size Chevy van. Oh, oh yeah. But they they were the short version. Short yeah. And most of those, yeah, the short. Yeah, those are the ones that are most high dollar. You can't yeah, find you them. can't. Yeah, no. but a lot of those didn't. They didn't have V8s in them. They had uh, either. It uh, wouldn't matter what the four it. the the V sixes or the straight sixes in those. Yeah. Those, those vans are unicorns now. Yeah, I know. My sister had one, but yeah. we had to get rid of it. I told you about the tree that fell down and speared through the windshield into yeah. the dash mm -hmm. and electrical went. Oh, yeah, well. So they sold it. Yeah, you don't see the little short wheel ones anymore. No. Yeah, they're gone. Yeah. Oh, they're squirrely on the highway and high uh, winds, so. though. Counts Custom bought all them up. Oh, did they? The little short. <laughs> and that's something I see. Uh, Casey's Customs just did a, a oh, 6, 7, 72 where he shortened the bed of a long bed, mm -hmm. you know, not a truck. Mm -hmm. And I just I don't understand people shortening this stuff. Well, one of the big kicks used to be on the full size. You're eliminating two foot of your cargo space. Full size Chevy vans was they would cut, they would cut them here. Is that yeah? They would cut them here and slide that forward and make a little pickup truck bed back there. That's oh, yeah. where your avalanche basically came from. That type of thing, utes, I utilities, and stuff. I bought that one. You bought that one just yeah, so just so I can tell you. Any young man do. growing up in the seventies or eighties. This yeah, was the car he wanted. We had, but don't pull up to the girlfriend's house of this because mom and dad sees the van. Oh, the uh, Rassel Castle. Yeah, because they yep. have water beds. We in the had back. the, we had a seventy, <laughs> we had a seventy-two, a seventy, a seventy-two, a seventy, seventy-two, seventy-five, and a seventy-eight. Ooh, who's calling? Yellow. Yeah. Oh, we got two watching. Two thumbs up. Might be somebody important. Let's watch Greg answer the phone. Hello. Hi, how are you? I'm on, I'm on uh, YouTube live. Live on YouTube. I'm live on YouTube. Hey, baby. What's up, girl? You don't even know who it is. It's my daughter. Oh, hi. Oh, I'm, hi. I'm a new grandfather as hey, of February 22nd. How old is she? Huh? How old is she? My daughter, 28. Uh, too young for me. Dang yeah. <laughs> I'll hold him down. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what are you up? I'm doing a guest appearance here on the uh, Gopher. Go, go for go rider, rider video. Go for rider in the digger digger's dungeon. There you go. Uh, yeah, we're on. We're on we're right on now. YouTube. We're on we're right on. now. You're we, on. We there. need another, and give us a thumbs up too. Yeah, we got two viewers and two thumbs up. Hey, <laughs> that's that's two more than one Keith here. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Keith. Uh, <laughs> Keith, that's not true. Yeah, I'm talking to my daughter here, uh, Shania. She just uh, made me a proud grandfather here, February 22nd, my first one. Uh, she's a beautiful baby. And yes, I'm talking on a yeah. flip phone. Flip phone. Hello. It does what I need to do. Hello and goodbye. Are you still there? He don't even have flip phone. Don't even have flip phone anymore. No, he, he moved on up. Yeah. Dad still has one. <laughs> But anyway, what's that? So we might get another viewer here in a minute, but I doubt it. So, oh, well, not anything else on the phone. Yeah, what anything I want it. Anything else? Well, she may not be you one. Um, anything else you need to talk about? Oh, we went to the be video. careful with cats. Oh yeah, <laughs> um, Digger's Digger's young male cat who hasn't been corrected yet, fixed, um, tripped him up, and he took out like two hundred fifty yards of tabletop yeah, with his it. teeth and my two front teeth well, are now chipped yeah and his jaw I got is a lip. couple of teeth dislodged and my teeth actually came through my lip yeah so like I'll, all I'll the way when i get done yeah when i hit that table all on right. the way down love you too so he's dealing with that so, so I got stitches i've been telling so him to dinner. get that cat fixed for how long <laughs> I think Juicy popped him is what happened, but we're not getting the real truth here. <laughs> hey, Can't blame it on oh, oh yeah, officer, a deer ran out. We don't blame it on her. <laughs> she don't care. She does. She turns red. I mean, she turns beet red. Just when when I embarrass her and stuff like, and that's mm -hmm. I guess pretty easy for me to do. She she just turns just 
flush. And clams up. Yo, oh, she gets <laughs> she giggles, but she twitches too. So I'm thinking she's having cranial meltdown with trying to figure out how to murder me, which and we may not be alive here next week. Yeah, so. well, it's it's been tried before. Well, you know she's with me, so she ain't all there in the first place. We're live. <laughs> We're live. <laughs> You don't she can't me. be on me all, all, all there if she's with me. <laughs> she's with we got three watchers now. Hey, Maybe that's your girl. Hey, <laughs> Tell her to give a thumbs up. Yeah, give us a thumbs up. There we go. Anyway. So, oh, wait. Who we got? Hey! Carter County Cruiser, Cruiser Nation. My brother from Ooh, probably in a he bought, he bought not, he Probably bought, not. We're related, Kentucky. Well, yeah. yeah he so bought an this is where van. He what? He bought an Astro van. You bought another one? Oh, he buys them all up in Kentucky. That's why there's That's nothing why left. Find them. So this is one of the guys, the one of the 12 guys that will more than likely be camping down at Hoodlums in the Holler. I'm still trying to figure out how to get bigger down there because I, I don't know if he'll ever come back. He might just move. Well, move and, down there. and I thought about that after you talked to me earlier. Yeah. When do you plan on going down there? I because you're not going to go down there on Saturday morning. I'm leaving Friday morning. Okay, Friday morning, and so coming back be and coming back three to have Sunday to morning. Somehow. Yeah, Sunday morning. Um, if you ride with us, that's when you'd have to come back because I still got another show I have to do on the way back because I missed it last year and I I have to do that. So hoodlums in the holler, we're going to go down Friday morning for the party Friday night. Stay there on premises, camping. You're going to either sleep in the back of the the uh, Caballero or tent or whatever. Big John riding with you, or is he driving? Uh, possibly he could be driving. Himself. Oh, well, see, then that's... Because a 300-pounder in that El Camino, it kind of it rubs a little. <laughs> I'm 320. Well, I'm just not as tall as him, but I'm 320. You're going in the back with yeah. the air shots. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Well, hopefully scooter we'll, on your scooter. Yeah, we're working. We're working on getting a small. But the thing is, right now, we're having trouble finding one the small as I want. I want one the size of your van, but wider. Yeah, not longer. Yeah, and they have them, but but like a transit. Right. Or something like they that. don't have them in stock to lease out. So the only ones they've got to lease out are 28 and 30 footers, which I, not a problem driving. It's just I didn't want to take up that much area down there yeah. and have something that big. But it's okay if I'd like. Do. I'd let you take mine, but I don't know that. Well, mom and we'll dad have to. Not, right, mom and dad. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. I don't well, know that much about my the point. Van my yet. point was yeah. is if you could go down and get somebody to cover for those days, you could ride with us because if if Mike's not able to make it. Then we got that extra space and like that. Yeah. Yeah, we just fold you up in the glove box. Right. I mean, you know, we're not. Or you can sleep on the trailer hitch or the ball of the hitch. You got a right. ball hitch on your? No. Oh, no. well, we'll put a ball hitch on you. You can sleep on the ball hitch. <laughs> sleep on the ball hitch of the meat. We'll put him a hammock up between two trees and that's going to be. I'm good. afraid we'll take him down there and he won't have a problem finding a place to sleep. That's what I'm <laughs> That's what I'm afraid of. Well, yeah, with adult beverages. Well. Yeah. So, um yeah, that's the hoodlums in the holler. So we got that. So there's 12 guys that want to stay. There's 15 that will probably go, but there's 12 guys that want to stay. So, I mean, there, we got, uh, according to John, John Bailey, that my cousin, uh, there's no problem with that. So, right. you know, because you guys are be staying right where the vehicle. So yeah. you'll park and stay right where the vehicle is. We'll park around back uh, with the motor coach park around back. That just way. Just like the song, I woke up in the truck bed. There you go. <laughs> bottle I woke up. There were times folks back in the day thought it was real fun to park a four wheel drive truck on top of me mm -hmm. after I'd been knocked out. So talking you were about like, you, you were not the, your car, you, me. You were the human speed bump. So I wake up, wake up, and I wake up and hit my head at least two times, minimum two times before I realize. On the transfer I case. Can't, yeah, I can't get up. <laughs> and stuff like that. I'm falling, and I can't okay. get, get up. up. That's okay. That was back in the, that was way back when. Right. But places in Fairborn like the Crystal Pistol and all that yeah. stuff. Those places, those places were so notorious, they bulldozed them down. Down. Get rid of them. The hibachi. Yeah. The hibachi was a long hallway with the bar at the end. The one way in, one way out. When the defecation hit the rotary oscillator <laughs> you had to fight your way out of out that of bar there. Mm. 
More thumbs up. It was back in the day. <laughs> <laughs> Look at all these. We got five thumbs up and six watchers. Yeah. I guess we need to start covering bar fights. Well, I guess. <laughs> Oh no! We I, just need him over here more we, often. Well, we yeah, don't. See. We don't want to do that. <laughs> but, we, uh, we needed a good-looking guy to, you know, one, find yeah. out. Yeah, sorry, yikes! Yeah, sorry, yikes! Sorry, yikes! Yeah. Yeah. Kick and poor yikes to the curb. Yeah. You guys ought to be ashamed. It's that way in Hollywood too, bud. Is it? Yeah. 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 What they call that? The good, the Look, bad. We got movie? another Magnum now. So yeah. well, you know. yeah, that's true. So this is the uh, the the. Uh, oh, I can't go there. Wait a minute. Um, no, I can't say that. Um, beverages, John. Beverages. Okay. Oh, okay, that's good. Anyway, so um, yeah, that'd be great. Get you guys down there. I think it'd be a blast. The band, the 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 girl, rockabilly girl. Oh, oh yeah. Checked her yeah, out. you checked her out. And John, John's got some music coming down there. Hoodlums oh, in the holler and stuff like that. I think uh, now Michelle Marie said she'd come down, but you know she's pretty busy and stuff. So I mean, she's got to a lot of work to do right um and i'd be really cool if it get brian and her to come on mm. down well i think she'd really enjoy that get her to dress up and get in the now you gonna screw the, it all up because i can't go the pinup contest so, yeah. well if between now and then I, you never you know can, if you can figure something out it's keep relief <laughs> <laughs> is that what he's saying yeah uh, yeah keep relief yep <laughs> yeah. I wish you could go too. That's a long drive though. But you I mean uh um hang on. Brain fart. Yeah. Uh, well, I have only slept a few hours. <laughs> no, I, I just I just pulled it. Oh, okay. go, so. I don't blame it on the gopher. No, no, you listen. Well, well, you didn't hear the conversation before with, we got here. With what I thought he had swamp something. Oh, swamp, oh swamp ass? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I get that all the time. But yeah. that, that's not on and the like, inside. Like I wanted to know that. Yeah, hang I, on. Think, I think when Keith was over here last time, I squeaked one off. Yeah, and, and I thought You it was guys Keith. were like, whoa. Yeah, I thought, yeah, you nearly killed it. Um, <laughs> yeah, this is a small mighty. Kevin Faust. Kevin Faust has the big red Dodge, the big fork and whatever yeah. stuff. I'd like to see him down there at the holler and stuff like oh, that. Would be that really, yeah. Oh, it would be really nice. He drives. He goes all over Indiana and yeah. he drives everywhere with that with thing. that truck. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, it's. Have you ever looked underneath of it? Oh, it's the it, frame is as nice as a paint it, job on the outside. It absolutely is and stuff like that. It is really good and stuff. So it's always ain't no good. fun if you don't drive them though. Well, yeah. Well, his routine, no, his routine is he'll drive it wherever and he. I've seen him drive it in the rain and do everything. But he gets there, got about two hours. See, and you see him laying stuff, underneath, wiping it, doing it, everything. taking care of it and stuff, man. And I, I, I sometimes I'll sit and watch him. Sometimes I'll sit and talk to him. Sometimes I'll go off and watch him from afar going, you, you know, that James, man works. <laughs> you know, James Williams, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, James Williams dad uh, used to have a 66 or 67 red Nova. Right. Every single bolt from front bumper yeah. to back bumper. Anything that can be detached and chromed yeah. or a bolt or what everything was chrome everywhere. Yeah. What he would go to a car show though yeah. that was dry and clean like today. But when he got home, it came in the garage, went up on carpet jack stands, yeah. and he started at the front bumper on a creeper and he oh. would toothbrush scrub oh. that entire <laughs> car. A lot of front the front bumper to back bumper. A lot of the stuff next week he'd do it all over again. Yeah, that's what Kevin. A lot of the stuff on Kevin's truck is stainless steel, and he made it. Yes, yeah. Oh, man. well, he was a machinist. Yeah, you know, and he made dyes, and so he made dyes or had dyes made that he pressed out and did a lot of that he needed. Yeah, all the hooks, the frame, the the decoration grills, all he did. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's it's amazing. Man loves that truck. Oh, I love that truck. It's, oh, it's awesome. Does. It's everybody awesome. Does. And then he's got some uh, pretty much original, right, Kev? Some pretty much original. Uh, I don't know whether are they they're not power wagons. They're the, still the uh, the military. Hi, Jesse. Jesse! Jesse is John's girlfriend. Okay. And I got I got to do this. You ready, Jesse? Oh, see, I she's half John's age. So John's 60 some. She's 30. Good for him. I know, I know. <laughs> and he's so proud every time, every time he introduces a guy, this is my girlfriend, and she's half my age. <laughs> Love you, Jesse. And she does uh she's a uh 
crochet artist. Mm -hmm. She does because a possum is their uh, icon that they use for their club, their mascot, and everything for their Carter, Carter County Cruisers. She does. What did it? Ouch. <laughs> but um, she uh, does all kinds of animals, raccoons and whatever and stuff. She has her own channel. She has her own channel where she sells all her stuff and everything out there. Hopefully, Jesse, are you going to have stuff? 60 some, 54, dang it. Sorry, John. <laughs> I'm 70 some. Sorry, John. You all look, he's younger than I am. Yeah, I know. You all look, I know he is. You all look, you all look 12 to me. I'm sorry. But I don't know why I'm doing this. The microphone's right here. <laughs> Brain lesions. Jesse, 20 years different. 21 years, 21 years different. Nice guy. What's it? KJ? Uh, oh, one power wagon. He has a 61 WM300 and another military half ton. Um, it's like the modified red one. Uh, I'll do it stock. Um, he's got a bunch of, did you pick those? You picked those up out West also, John? She oh, that'd will, be great. She'll have some, uh, some of her artwork, her there crocheted oh. artwork for sale and stuff like that. Uh, Kev, I know he went, was it, uh, Iowa or Idaho that you picked up uh, the Dodge the first time. And that was only, I think the only time it was on a trailer, either that or one time or two times, any other time that truck went anywhere, it's been driven. Yeah. Um, but Respect. then he picked up. Yeah. Then he picked up all the other ones, but I don't remember where he picked them up. But, but he's got, you here. got, you got people, you got people pretty far in the country. A rampage. One of the little oh. omni looking. Yeah, trucks. rampage with the pickup truck yeah. on the back. Yeah, yeah. That's well, I haven't seen one of those in years. Uh, I saw one at the power uh power tour that was done up. Man, it was awesome. KJ one. One was from Minnesota and one was from Colorado. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, he traveled traveled in. That's the only time that big red dodge has been Trailer. on a trailer, mm -hmm. and that that's before it was fixed. All right. So yeah. it's beautiful. And oh, he it is. It. He yeah, drives it. Oh, he drives it everywhere. And that truck everywhere. is well known. Oh, it is. It is. Um, you can uh, in Indiana a lot of the shows and stuff use it as their yeah. flyer their advertisement promo. and stuff like yeah. that because well. everybody wants to go see it. Oh, it's the closest she's going to get for the rampage. It's the closest she's going to get to an El Camino. <laughs> Well, he has the Caballero, the GMC, yeah. which is he only, got no help, only you know. so many of them made. Two, well, if you want me to get technical. Yeah. 21,000 built in 84. 2,000 of them were GMC Caballeros. Caballeros. And mine was made in Canada. Woohoo! So, well, no, uh, yeah. no senor there. No senor, no Mexico. Which is where all the El Camitos are made. Yeah. Well, yeah, <laughs> that's where my truck came from. My The motor for my truck came from Canada. And the body chassis and whatever of the 82 that we had came from Mexico. And it was a lump of... But that motor ran. Mm -hmm. Every time, if if you if you pushed it to the floor, every time it shift, it would smoke the tires. Just whatever. The one we have now, the GMC we have now, uh, the other one was the Chevy, the Jeep, same thing, uh, has the smallest V8 they make, and it can barely get out of its own way. Yeah. Now it'll haul the trailer fine and do all that fine and all that stuff, but just sheer grunt. It yeah. is, and it was only one year difference in the motor, but a whole lot of mechanical stuff inside mm -hmm. from that eighty-two to eighty-three. So, mm -hmm. but anyway, twenty-eight thousand miles on it since finished. Man, the big that's some he miles, and yeah, he drives it. And it took it didn't it take you thirteen years for the big red one to get it from the time you started to the time it was ready to roll out. Trade no, uh, I can't. I can't, can't get part with that one. I can't get rid of the vibe. That's Dad's car, and he absolutely loves that car. Um, the dash looks like a Christmas tree, but Bobby Jordan had worked some miracles to even get it running because they don't make certain parts for the. Well, they don't make any of the parts for the GT model anymore. No, because the GT was the uh, showroom race cars, so they could come right off it because it has a variegated shift. It has mm -hmm. two speed to where you can change on the transmission and then the motor, but it has a restrictor in the valve body, but you can't get parts. No, you can't. And body parts you, for the GT GT vibe, you can't get parts no, at all. There's no skins for them or anything. So mm -hmm. yeah, that's why I say go with the Astro van because the one thing you need is something that you can get parts for. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. I know you have the uh, the 2010 vibe. I think ours is a 
2009. It might be a 2010. Um, yes, 13 years, life gets in the way. <laughs> oh, his, uh, Kevin's, uh, his, his barn, his shop, his whatever and all his, he puts uh, pictures of it out on Facebook and stuff Amazing. like that. He, he, and most of it he does, his dad helps him some, some other guys come out, but what he did to tear, to, he didn't tear him down. He, I don't, it, it's amazing. The roof put these metal roofs on these buildings and stuff mm -hmm. like that. And uh, you know, if you've worked on high winds and a metal roof, you know, yeah. it's yeah. basically a, 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 <laughs> a, it's a Cuisinart, you know, yeah. uh, and stuff like that. Yeah, so. But no, I, yeah, I'm still looking. I'm still looking. I, I really want for the, for the uniqueness factor, the craziness, I want one of the key, one of the sandbars, uh, a 92. You know, nobody knows what the heck a are. key sandbar is. A key, it's a key, it's a key truck. It's, it's a Japanese truck that's right hand drive. Key sandbar. Sounds like something from <laughs> a sandbar. It's a Subaru sandbar. Sounds like and that's the, that's the, that's the, that's the van model and stuff. They've got the motor in the back. They're, they, they, but they only do 45, 50 mile an hour and they're a toy. They are, whether well, they're an in town <laughs> delivery vehicle, most of them are four wheel drive. I want the two wheel drive five speed model, which is rare. And I wouldn't mind having the uh, Subaru motor that had the turbo charger, the supercharger built into the block. So those are even rarer. But uh, I'd like that just to have more something rare, cool that rare, I could take mom and dad around in the van and just put a, you know, down and dirty wrap on it. And so I could be there and they could be there, but the Astro is more the size that it would be still can get around park. Good. Get in and out of handicap. I can put ramp on it. The, the hoist I got off you might be a little big for that van, but I could cut it. I mean, I can make anything, you yeah. know, work. Not now, but I well, could have. Stagecoach. Yeah. Stagecoach. Um, but you know, that would be good. Or one of the little short, Full size vans, but the thing there is, you getting you're getting between 35, 50 mile of the gallon with the sandbar. You're getting 14 mile a gallon on a good day with the Astro or the C10 Shorty. But you like know, I told you before, Comfort. you were at hey, I just I just ten thousand. <laughs> I just I just paid almost four dollars a gallon for gas in the in the uh, uh, vibe GT. Yeah, and. I mean, that'll do me, but I, you know me, I get, when I get the donations and stuff, it goes into getting to the shows. Oh, I don't yeah. take, I don't pull anything out for me or any of that, that everything that I get from the people that, you know, volunteer and, and help support me and stuff, it goes right into being able to get to the shows. So keep everything. supporting him. No, that wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> That's not what I meant. My, my thing Please is. Please send your money. My thing is, if I get, if I get a vehicle. It's for stuff, the kids. No. <laughs> Think of the children. <laughs> I'll be hauling Keith around. Oh, no, that, <laughs> um, my point is with that is I, I have to get the vehicle at a decent price because that's what money I've been able to glean together through other means. But to keep it running and going to the shows and stuff like that. 50 mile to the gallon versus 14 mile to the gallon. I'm thinking There's about difference. making sure I can, you know what I mean, get there and stuff. Because I don't use that money for anything else other than getting that, to and from the show. The thing that worries me is, you know, you can probably pick up an Astro for two or $3,000. You know, yeah. may, maybe a little bit but. different. But the key van thing, that's 10000 it's, so it, you that can, extra you can get six it, or 7000 to, to get one that's pay for right. a lot of fuel. Yeah, uh, but not no, not really. Trust me, I keep a record on how did you back when I was doing like seven shows or whatever, you know, on a weekend, maybe 14 yeah. shows. It's, uh, that, even it, it eats a That's, lot of gas, yeah. a lot of gas. Dude, I even in the cars. Now the gopher, that's why I used the gopher around whatever. It didn't get as good as it should have got, but it it did okay because I had it jacked up too yeah. much. Um <laughs> if if well, you know, like to lift a wheel Mike, on the highway. <laughs> right. The thing about, it's not only about getting to the shows with the gopher, it's being able to haul, because the gopher only sets one. You sat in there with me, and it was tight. I've had mom in there with me. Yeah. <laughs> well, with you sitting so, in. 
<laughs> but I there mean, I want to be. Lap. I know. I want to be. You did not. You <laughs> sat. You sat on the. You sat on the console. The, the side. I could have had you sat on the gear shift and really messed right. you up. That that have been a proctological exam, Jesse. I want to teach you. I will be going getting a box together for you. Your mom is getting something. Oh well, thank you, sweetheart. Uh, so you and this little buddy to put on yeah. your scooter. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> See, because I could get a scooter around six thousand and put uh, a utility sidecar on it, and I can go and do whatever I wanted, and it'd be just like the Gopher. And what happens when it breaks down? No, no, no. The scooter, the scooters are, you can, they're repairable. The scooters okay. are re repairable. They're 300 cc motors. That's the only thing that so worries me about this key van thing is finding somebody, A, to work Well, on. Bobby would do it, but, but I want to mm -hmm. ask him before I. He don't even know what it is. Oh, know? I bet he does. I, mean, I bet he does. Yeah. So I'll bet he does. out there look up the key van. Well, no, it, <laughs> yeah. If <laughs> Google you wanna, it. If you want to see what it, if you really want to see him and stuff, Matthew Charrington Productions, but. He, there's no videos out there anymore. Um, anyway, that's a long story. No more. No, I'll, I'll tell you later. Oh. Uh, yeah, um, but there's uh, the Mayberry guy. So the the Mayberry sales or whatever he has key vans. Uh, I think his roads like miles long to go to his property yeah, and stuff in Western, and on both sides just nothing but the thing. Now it's the, a lot of them are the ones that are the little cab over pickup trucks. They're the flatbed trucks with the fold down sides yeah. with you set up on top of the up wheels and top, stuff. Yeah. I wonder so, though, why does he have so many? Does he collect them? Is he parting them out? No, he's importing or, them because he's he okay, selling okay. them like that. I didn't know if they were ones oh my that gosh, yeah. companies bought he and takes, decide they didn't like them. You know? They have to be 20, 20, 25 years old. 25 years old, I think it is. Oh, and then right. you can import them and stuff. Yeah. So 92 through, I think they're up to 97. They can go up to 97 now. Um, he it sells them as soon as they come in. Hmm. And they're in various, some of them are really rough and some rust and things are broke and they don't run and whatever. But then other ones that are unicorns basically and stuff, there's lots of nice ones. Where are these they're, all at? Huh? Are these somewhere we could actually take a trip and go see them? Yeah, there are some in Ohio, but they're up in Canton and whatever. That's a four-hour <laughs> drive. I, hey, you know, if you, I mean, if you I like can't, them, if I you can't, want to drive, you can see I what you got. go that far. Yeah. There are some down south. There are some down south in Kentucky, West Virginia. There's uh, Myrtle Beach. There's a guy in Myrtle Beach that imports them. There's the guy in West Virginia. Which, uh, in, um, there's places in Indiana. So usually somewhere is closer to the coast where they can get them in and then get them off, off the shipping can. Uh, New York, uh, rapper, way rap guy down in Florida. He yeah. Imports them. Right. Um, uh, way before the fame is in New York, um, uh, upper state, New York, not downtown city, but upper state New York. And he imports them and stuff one at a time, two at a time, whatever. He actually travels the country to the people that import them, find the one he wants, brings it home, fixes it up the way he wants, and then raffles them off for his YouTube channel. Wow. Yeah. So they raffles them off when he gets a, his money back after for however much a raffle is and stuff, then he delivers them or people can come and get them and stuff like that. Um, he fixes them up, but the way he wants them fixed up and stuff, there yeah, are not like a customer. Yeah. There are some yeah. really nice ones around um, the same people that take and buy my gopher and resell them through the government uh, access. They also have the key vans and key trucks and stuff like that. So there are a lot of places and they actually service. If your motor blows, you get with them, they'll give you a motor. You can buy a motor off of them because they also import the ones that the bodies are, are what they call half cuts, where they can't they can't import them in because they're too new. I, I could be wrong. Somebody straighten me out. They can't import them in as a full running vehicle because they're too new. So they but have to cut them in half. Them. Kind of like yeah. Mighty Car Mods does. Yeah. They bring them in and they're cut in half. So they find a car that's already imported that needs whatever, and they take all the parts off the half cut car. The cart cut right down the sit right down the middle, middle, and, and put, then put it all down together. The middle. Yeah. Dang. Well, not down the center, <laughs> down the middle. Cut the car in half. Not long <laughs> longitudinal. But latitudinal. We still got to Google to see what these he's, things look like. Uh, he's still, I know what they <laughs> look like. They're weird looking. I, 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 we're still running. Hey, we got three video. watching, six thumbs up. Thank you so much. Same video a while ago of, of one coming into a parking lot, yep. doing a donut, and <laughs> it flipped. That's They're kind of top heavy. 
So I'm um, I'm actually doing this. hopefully this this uh you got a images. And I want to actually go. This is where he combines. So I don't think. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it looked like it said. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, like really? Me. <laughs> nope. That didn't work, did it? Nope. That looked, go like, to that looked like you're graduating high school class. Go to images at the top. I just did, and it takes me to something oh, else. Okay. When you're searching for the wrong thing. See, we can't see you watching us right now because I'm trying to we're, do... We're actually I'm, not, looking... I'm not sure. No, no, no. Those are totally different. He's got one of those. They're they're awesome. The midget, the Daihatsu. Um, yeah. Here we go. Here's a... Here's... But I don't see the sandbar. We're waiting. Wait. Yeah, it's, it's loading. It's oh, oh. Well, she has a pole. <laughs> Advertisement on YouTube. Now, Meekers. see that's that's the one that's cut. Yeah, but that's see all of them out there. So eight months ago, I mean, that's what I want. 4K vans, and you guys seem to like it. So in today's video, we're gonna compare these 4K vans along with another that has. Look how dinky it is! Little hand cutters. How many clouds are in there? Yeah. Each four, 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 four. <laughs> Listen, I will have to I will have to shoehorn my butt into it. Yeah. But let me tell you something. They are awesome. I'm telling you, they're awesome. A Suzuki Every. And then the Hatsu high jet. So we're going to start off with the... You look like if slaying breaks too hard, you might face plant. <laughs> no. Those, anyway, uh, let me get back over here. So anyway, hey. did we lose people? Yes, we did. <laughs> we're done. See, they want to see that thing. <laughs> but anyway, the, um, that's several different ones that they have. Uh, let me see if it shows. So, oh, this is a nice one. This one here. Go for it. Like a uh, thumbs up on... <laughs> <laughs> That's a Mitsubishi. Still think I asked. Ah, Mitsubishi. I'm thinking that's a. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. He's. That's not she, me. He. She. Uh, it, he's he. got pink. She. Which faded one? pink hair. That looked like Barbie. Anyway, uh, let's see if I can. Yeah. Hope you all enjoyed this video. Hope you all enjoyed this. I'm I'm sorry to do stuff like that. Um, I'm trying to get over. It's called picture and picture and picture, picture. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> not, not when I was doing it. Uh, oh, here's my favorite. Whoa, yeah, look at that, everybody. There's your Suzuki. Wapa. That's your Suzuki right oh, there. I'm, I'm sorry, I should say. Wapa. That's your Suzuki right there. No, that's a spark key. No, <laughs> that's the motor. That's the whole motor. I know. That's the header. He makes. He makes, he makes. He makes and sells those headers and stuff for that. Spark key. Oh. <laughs> what? Yeah. We like to fold down that thing. No, the dipstick's to the right of the car. Hey, <laughs> he's he's famous. Anyway, we're we're back. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Well, see, now that that was one of my things that I was thinking. I, not necessarily the donk rims. He yeah. says, get a sandbar and put the, the donk donks. rims. Oh, God. So it sets up, but they do make them. It yeah. takes the same tires as the golf carts. Same size. Yeah. Same so hub, you could put the same, hub, same hub, same all that. Oh. So the thing is, if I they make adapters for all that oh, to yeah. do whatever. Um, the problem is with the tires that are on it, they're not highway speed rated tires. The sandbars will do 60 miles an hour long term without too much damage ish you know whatever yeah. but any of the other models running above 45 50 mile an hour it's hard on those little motors a lot of the motors are three cylinders they the, probably shakes some well, the, sure the majority base. the majority of the sandbars i believe the subaru motor are four cylinders so you get an extra cylinder same displacement so it's 360 it can only be 360 Q, uh, uh cc mm -hmm. it can't be i think 360 maybe it's 390 i can't remember 
But anyway, so it, that's why they make them over there and they get away with all the insurance and whatever. That's one of the reasons they can't import them over, over here, here after so long because then it because the newer ones don't pass any regulation any where regulation. the older right. ones don't carry the same regulations right. that we need. So it's very similar to me with the Gopher. Classed as a motorcycle, licensed as a motorcycle, but it's an auto cycle because it's just like the um, slingshots. You don't need a motorcycle endorsement or license on it because it's classified as an auto cycle, half car, half okay. motorcycle. motorcycle. So insurance falls under a car insurance and not a motorcycle, mm -hmm. but it's licensed as and registered as a motorcycle. A motorcycle. Wow. Well, that's the wow. stipulation around it. These being imported since they're so of an age and stuff like that, they're licensed under the old mandate 25 years ago where you didn't need... All, All the safety, oh, yeah. airbags, no. and crum <laughs> crumple zone and stuff like that, because you are setting this far from the windshield. There's no that's you are you hit the, the crumple zone. You hit the brakes too fast, you'll face plant. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that uh -huh. they won't. Um. The what was it? I can't remember. The one would stand on its nose. Would stand. Do this. Stand on its nose. It wasn't one of these. It was one of the other ones. Uh, all of them. The old pups. They yeah, the pickups, dodges, the yeah, the yeah, dodges, yeah, the dodges and all those. Been, if you hammered them, you had but then all the weight was up front. You were there, yeah, yeah. the motor, the transmission, everything was up front, unless yeah. you had something in it. But breaks, yeah. anyway, that that that's the the quirky factor because you know me, I'm quirky. I, I am quirky. Yeah, I, I just in. like yeah, I like that. You know, well, you like you, hearse and 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 station wagons, just yeah. like me. Mm -hmm. Station wagons and old crap, Cushmans, just you yeah. know, old stuff. Uh, good stuff. If I could, I've got my Cushman. I got other stuff. I could get Cushmans and whatever, but that now I'm dealing with 45 and under and no way to make it go faster. Whereas with my Gopher, since it had the car motor in it, so mm -hmm. 1300 CC import Ford motor, transaxle, whatever, I was able to tweak some things and get it to go 80, 85 mile an hour. Right. But it's just uh, it's <laughs> butt pucker and scream. And, you know, you got to have testicles like. Yeah. Boy, elephant. Yeah, I big time. To, huh? <laughs> what? That's what I think. Astro. What, the Astro? No, I like the Astro. It's <laughs> just, it's it really is. That would be cool. Enough room because I would take, I'd have the two captain's chair, very comfortable seats yeah. in it. Uh, and That's then what we gotta get if it wasn't guys. finished, right. If it wasn't finished, uh, you know, wasn't one of the conversion vans yeah. already, I would put in two seats that folded down into a, like reclining bit, type yeah. of thing for mom and dad and then in the back it would be all set up for my camera gear drawers like you're building in your van camera <coughs> gear and scooter stuff scooter. yeah now i see i see beds like that those folding yeah. beds yeah for sale all the time well we worked uh, when mom and i were doing <coughs> the take them out so the right when we were doing all the upholstery and everything so when we did the upholstery yeah. for all the conversion vehicles and, and all that we made all that there's not a that's not an issue at all to do whatever yeah. i mean i even played with making uh you know, the U like they put in the uh, the limousines where seats down one side and then it use over and then have just enough room in the back, for my whatever. But if I got one of the vans that didn't have windows, I don't want to move them all the way to the back and they're in a tunnel. You know, yeah. if I got one that had windows all the way around, I may do that so, and just leave enough well, room like to I put my you, scooters in. We can in. take a panel van though and cut some cool windows in. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I can take a plasma cutter and do a lot of <laughs> I'll press Keith up against it and just outline that and go, yikes! There ain't nothing to cut in windows other than yeah. making sure your temple's right. <laughs> Oops. Cut but the, the donk spot. wheels, putting the donk wheels on that, because actually, if I just got low profile 15 inch rims, because it comes with 10s and 12s, right. if I got low profile 15 inch, uh, uh, 15 inch rims with low profile tires on buddy. it, he's good. He's You got to go to work here in a little bit, don't yeah. you? Nine o'clock. It's almost nine o'clock. That's right. Yeah, I know. About blah, blah, blah. I know. We've been going. <laughs> you know what? What'll come up? I'm glad that people are still whatever and it's still showing, but we never know whether or not. Oh, this actually, cow, it's been an hour and a half. I know. This is more than we've ever. <laughs> we usually go on. Out. But <laughs> oh, we, all, we went all over the place. And stuff. Oh, yeah. we. But anyway, if I did that, I, I would put rims on it. 15 inch rims with low profile tires and that would give me more whatever. Now I'd have to watch pulling out and stuff and i would prefer an automatic but the automatics are not as durable as their standards for the key vehicle so i'd like a five speed with the four-cylinder subaru motor um 
and now you two people heard drive. that out there in YouTube land. Yeah, so well, if you know yeah, where there's yeah. one at. Yeah, the problem is the ones that they've been sending me information on. Turds. Well, I don't want to say that because they were kind enough to send me the information. Okay. I'm just saying I can't afford to get them and fix them. I need something that's, that's mechanically running. Ready to go. You know, a little bit of rust and stuff like that's fine, but not big rot because they're unibodies yeah. and too much yeah. rot and you don't have anything. So, but paint, paint, I'm not too worried about paint because what I'll, like I said, I was just going to put it, what I call a crap wrap on it, yeah. just scuff it up, make it nice and smooth and just, and then just put a, put a wrap on no. it. But there's so many people out there, the good companies, and I'm not saying crap, they're wraps of crap. What I'm saying is I call it a crap wrap because basically it's just to cover up something for a little yeah. advertisement for the channel. But the primary reason is to be able to take mom and dad. So get all Hello. three of us out there so they can enjoy it because I'm not going to be able to shoehorn them in the, even the key of the, the mom's van, mom's vans had have so much work done to it. Even if I do that, I can, I'm not going to be able to enter that into the show field. Yeah. The key vehicle or the Astro or something like that. I can have it done up as a, what a vehicle and put that in the show field. So dad can sit right there around the cars and look at them and whatever on his walker or on his wheelchair right. and stuff and see everything. Yeah. That, think, that's my, I still think he needs to get George Edson and dog. Though. <laughs> What Astro? Yeah, yeah. That, I've already, I've already in my head. I've already thought if I do get an Astro someplace on it, there will be Michelle Marie will do me a yeah. an Astro, yeah. the Dane. Astro van. Great Dane. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Astro. Because we're almost to them yeah. times, yeah. you know. Yeah. You may have watched that when you was a kid. Now all this uh, stuff. I watched it when I was. I'm a waiting little, for when you I was a go little... press a button and your food comes out. Oh, they got that now. You go to the hospital or go any old folks' home and stuff like that, and you press a button, they'll bring you food. <laughs> they even give yeah, you eventually. They'll even give you a sponge bath. Yeah. He's talking more like Star Trek. Oh, yeah. you mean the food pro a simulator? Yeah. Yeah. Food synthesizers. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Food synthesizers. I think that's called the uh, girlfriend. Some call that's, it the that. yeah. that's the cheap version. Yeah. That's the one I think. No. Well, not not. <laughs> there is no cheap version. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, we don't want to go there, do we? We don't want to go there. He said it, not us. <laughs> yeah, this is not Jerry Springer. <laughs> it could be. Hey, you wait till we get down to Kentucky. You wait. Damn. It's fun. You, you, I swear you're going to split your side. It's fun. It's fun. They may split their side over me. They may split you. You don't know. Get a little apple crown in me and what? look out. Oh, no, we're going we're gonna to have some... Yeah, specialty road runner juice. Specialty, mm. what it? What was it? Uh, torpedo juice in those movies, all those uh, uh, Frankie Avalon movies and stuff, where you squeeze your own torpedo from now on. It's making torpedo juice. <laughs> oh, I was thinking something else. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, you, were, you were on the same battleship. Then. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> <laughs> <It was> no <little> torpedo. <laughs> Bombs away. Well, you know. <laughs> um. <laughs> There's a whole lot of stuff you can make. Uh, I don't want to say drinkable, not nowhere near palatable because it would absolutely peel the skin right off your tongue. Mm -hmm. But there's all kinds of stuff I know oh, at the Sunnydale camp for wayward boys mm -hmm. that people would drink, all the way from bug spray up to uh, floor stripper. Bong water. Yeah. Well, they didn't have. There wasn't no what bombs there, but <laughs> yeah, bomb what you said. Bomb, but there, you there was no bomb. There was no. Me. Trust me, you were lucky to. You heard me. But yeah, you'd you'd be surprised what they well. stuff you thin down just so it doesn't kill you. Right. But brain cells just run out of you. Pass. Oh my. Oh yeah, me too. That's why I'm still here. That's why <laughs> so you, you know. <laughs> and there's a whole lot of them still still locked up someplace going. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I eat my own poop. <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, I mean, <laughs> dude, there's a lot of folks that well, yeah. fried their brains. I'm working on it. Uh, not is it DDT or D E D E T or D E F or whatever the bug spray that? Oh, is, yeah. They deet. pulled. Yeah. Well, no. Deet. 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 D E T. So yeah. it's deet. Yeah, they thin that stuff down with, and drink it. Yeah. And just go, woo! That's like oh, back in the, 
That's the '60s stuff there. Oh yeah. Oh, it, Lucy in the sky. I know. Paint <laughs> people huffing paint and stuff back when, even when I was a kid in the '50s, and they were huffing paint and all this stuff. I mean, I got my, I I lost a lot of brain cells in the paint booth. I mean, for real. I and working in the printing companies and stuff, I picked four foot boogers and multicolored boogers. Oh, yeah. That Just, could be my problem too, because every car I've ever painted, yeah, I painted with a couple. Her. I never wore a mask. Yeah. Well, when they started going to the two stage compounds and stuff, the Ditzler yeah, and yeah, yeah, Edda Hardy, that, no, that's, <laughs> that's, that's, not that's straight death. That, yeah. that didn't kill brain cells. That killed well, you. Here's the way I looked at it the paint comes out of the gun, it hits the side of the car, it goes this way. It's not coming back toward, towards me. No, that, but that's not how As, it works. Well, I'm saying though. If he was standing next to me holding my hose, so it didn't hit, he's going to get hammered with a hurt so worse than I am. If if I ever see him standing next to him holding his hose, I will shoot video. <laughs> I won't be able to put it up here, but somebody's going to pay me. You, you, need, he, you, you need to clarify your garden there. <laughs> yeah, keep your hands on your own garden yeah. hose. Well, I do. We'll anyway, there. let's uh, let's shut this down because we're <laughs> not going there. We're not <laughs> going there. <laughs> All right, guys. Sorry, this has been so. What was it? The holler water is safe in moderation. That's what we said. Holler water. Moderation. I used to have when you I when I first. go when I went out when I go to visit other YouTubers and stuff. I used to take bottles of go for water. Yeah, and it was on it says uh, refined through the finest. Radiators from most classic vehicles <laughs> strain through the mop, run through the best showers and yeah. most most prison systems. Uh, we'll stay away from yeah. that. Yeah, I I went on. I went. I put that on the bottles. You would. I I might even have one or two left. That's really old now, but people loved getting the gopher water. They thought it was because it came with a little. Uh, you pull the back apart and stuff. And it was uh, one of those clear window stickers, you know, the yeah. ones that stick Stati uh, statically. Mm. Yeah. So you peel it off. Oh, it was way, way back when I did that. And huh. they loved that. I can't afford to do that anymore. That shit was expensive. I'll just drink out of the river. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, this, well, you could pour a little gopher water in the river. You wouldn't even have to get a fishing pole out. <laughs> They'd all float to the <laughs> surface, to brother. The I'm telling you right now. So everybody up. <laughs> We'll be looking forward to a, a few containers of the holler water. Thank you, John. Appreciate it. Jesse, love you. <laughs> oh, don't As forget, Chrome says, don't forget that watermelon. Did you double these? I don't know if I can do that. Watermelon no, that's all. I only got three fingers. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Y'all see me bowl. <laughs> I'm not going to ask you how that was a old whore, war injury, right? Uh, yeah, war injury. yeah, war war injury, war yeah. injury, <laughs> <laughs> something like that. Gotta go, guys. Love y'all, and uh, we'll see you out there someplace. Uh, any uh, comments and or complaints of this uh, in a derogatory form? Make sure you send it to Uncle. I mean, uh, the watermelon man, and uh, you almost let it. I know, I almost did. I almost did. I'm tired, dude. It's been know, a couple days. We, this the longest one you've ever had. It's, I haven't been slept for. I've well, been doing videos. Anyway, you had a good special guest. Love you all. Yeah, we did. So I'm, I'm glad you. Love you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I'm on the road. I definitely got to get back. To check on mom and dad. Love you guys. See you later. Bye bye. Bye. <laughs>